Welcome back to The Ranking Show. My name is Cam Williams, and we had some big changes to the top 10 for the men and the women, and also the ATB Finals and WTA Finals are starting to heat up. We've got some big tournaments on this week, but let's go through the past champions of last week because we had some big tournaments last week as well on both the ATP and WTA. So we had a WTA 250 event on the clay last week. The winners open in Romania, and Pekovic got the win over Sharef. Pretty easy in the end, 6-1, 6-1 in that final. Then we had a WTA 500 event in San Jose. And the final was very interesting. Collins getting the win. She's had back-to-back -back title wins now a couple of weeks ago in Italy and now in America. She beat Kazakina. 6-3, 6-7, 6-1 in that final. And both players have been rewarded in the rankings as we'll find out in just a second. And over on the ATP, we had the Washington Open. Of course, Rafa played that event. He lost pretty early on. But it was Yannick Sinner who got the win over Mackenzie McDonald. Very, very close match as well. 7-5, 4-6, 7-5 the biggest title of his career so far. All right, let's start with the WTA rankings because there are some big changes in the top 10. Ash Barty, she stays at number one with Naomi Osaka still at number two. Sabalenka at number three. Kennan at number four. But Bianca Andreescu, she has fallen from number five all the way down to number eight. She has a lot of points to defend over the next couple of weeks as well. Meaning that Svetlina, she goes up to number five. Pliskova to number six and Sviontek to number seven. So Andreescu at number eight, she's in danger of falling out of the top 10 if she doesn't play well over the next couple of weeks. Muguruza comes in at number nine, and Simona Halep has fallen out of the top 10. We haven't seen her on tour for a couple of months now because of injury. She is back this week in Canada, so we will get to see her, but she is out of the top 10, which means the French Open champion, Krejcikova, gets into the top 10 for the first time in the singles in her career, going at one spot from last week. Heading over to the WTA Finals race now, and we don't have too many changes to talk about. Barty, she stays at one, with Krejcikova at number two, Sabalenka at number three, Sviontek at number four, Pliskova at number five, Osaka at number six, Muguruza at seven, Pavlichenkova, she's at number eight. But after a good week last week, getting to the semifinals of San Jose, Elise Mertens gets into the top 10 in the race to the finals, the race to Shenzhen. She goes up three spots to number nine, pushing down Jabor, who goes down to number 10, and Coco Goff, she falls out of the top 10 in the race to the finals. Having a look at the players that have gone up in the rankings this week, and it was the players that played well last week in San Jose. Kazakina, she goes up four spots from last week, going up to number 27 in the world after making the final of San Jose. And Daniela Collins, the winner of San Jose, she goes up to number 28 in the world, which is eight spots higher than last week. So both players getting rewarded for having such a strong performance last week in San Jose. Players that have fallen down in the rankings, and it's the Williams sisters. Serena Williams has gone down four spots to number 20 in the world, she has a lot of points to defend over the next couple of weeks as well. So she drops even further. And Venus Williams, she's gone two more spots down to number 112 in the world. So both the Williams sisters are struggling at the moment. Going over to the men's top 10 now and Novak Djokovic. He stays at number one with Daniel Medvedev at number two. But Rafa Nadal has dropped down with Stefano Tsitsipas reaching a career high ranking at number three, so they switch spots. Rafa dropping down, and of course, Rafa has a lot of points to defend over the next couple of weeks throughout this US Open series, so Rafa's gotta be careful. He might drop down even further, but since he passed, he gets to a career high ranking. We've got Zverev at number five, Team at number six, who also has a lot of points to defend over the next couple of weeks. Rublev at number seven, Berrettini at number eight, Federer at nine, and Shapovalov rounds out the top 10 for this week. Having a look at the race to Turin, the ATB finals, Djokovic, of course, stays at number one, with Sidney Pass at number two, Berrettini, number three, Rublev close behind at number four, with Sasha Zverev close behind him, at number five, we've got Daniel Medvedev at number six, Nadal at number seven, Kasper Rudd, after having a really good couple of weeks on the clay a few weeks ago, stays at number eight, her catch at number nine, and Yannick Sinner, after winning the biggest title of his career, the ATP 500 event last week in Washington, he's gone back into the top 10, three spots higher than last week, kicking out Karatsev, who drops out of the top 10 for the first time in a while. Taking a look at some of the players that have gone up in the rankings, and it's the finalist from Washington last week. Yannick Sinner, he's gone up nine spots in the ATP rankings, which is a career high ranking for him at number 15. So Yannick Sinner doing very well on the hard courts as he was at the start of the year. Mackenzie McDonald, he has gone up 43 spots to number 64 in the world. Not quite a career high for him, but a big improvement from being outside the top 100 a week ago. So he is rising up the rankings 
fast. Some of the players that have dropped down in the rankings over the last week, we have Gael Monfils. He's dropped down seven spots to 24 in the world. And Nick Kyrgios, after failing to defend the points at Washington last week, has gone down three more spots, number 80 in the world. And of course, he hasn't played that much either. So his ranking is really struggling because of the lack of match play. So there it is, the rankings for the week. We've got some big changes in the top 10 for both the men and the women. Bianca Andreescu dropping down. Stefano Sidzipas getting to a career high ranking. And Krejcikova, the French Open champion, making her top 10 debut as well. So let me know down in the comments below. Who are you shocked about maybe dropping down in the rankings? You know, Kyrgios at number 80 in the world. Serena's down to number 20. That's a bit of a shock for me. Of course, Kyrgios hasn't played that much. So not much of a surprise really. But Serena, she keeps dropping down. She's got a lot of points to defend over the next couple of weeks. Or maybe who you were surprised about that's not featuring in the ATP race. Remember, the ATP and WTA finals aren't that far away. Only a couple of months away. You're missing players like Federer. Dominic team, they're not in the race to the finals because they haven't played that much. So some big changes this week on the ATP and WTA with some top 10 players getting career high rankings.